Hey Sling Builders, Jet Shine here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the center fuselage modification, which moves the rear seat forward about two and a half inches to offset the weight of the optional ballistic parachute system if you choose to install it. I put this video together because I found the instructions to be just a little bit confusing. So this video gives you a couple of tips as well as my recommendations on when to install this modification. because so I think that appears a little bit too late in the manual to make it easy to install. So let's get into the changes. The first step shows up on page E20 of the TSI installation manual, or if you're following the Sling 4 manual, it's the same information, but it's on page E14. And the first step is installation of this strengthening channel, uh, shown here in the detail diagram. It's uh, CF channel 39, and that's called the back seat strengthening channel. Now that's what the bench would, uh, would rest up against, and that's where we're going to move forward with the modification. As you can see, if you follow on the manual, the modification happens much later. This is page E41. My recommendation is that you install these modifications well before you get to the final assembly section of the manual, because this is a lot easier to install if you don't have the side skins attached. So here you can see the modified parts. This is the extension channel, which goes on top of the strengthening channel. And then these uprights are what the back seat bench will rest up against instead of this angle on the uh, floor rib. So on to the tips now. First thing is to make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Uh, I had assumed that this uh, extension bracket went right on top of the existing strengthening channel. So I originally had everything clicked up to use the existing holes. But if you look at the instructions, it says to locate this uh, extension channel 17 millimeters forward of the uh, vertical edge of the strengthening channel. So that's where that little black mark is there all across that strengthening channel. And then you hold it down with some clamps and then you drill new holes. So there's new holes that go here into the ribs underneath and then the, uh, the rivets that go into the, the floor ribs as well. Also make sure to install some rivets right here. It's not mentioned in the manual, but you'll want to drill holes into the side of this floor rib to give this uh, upright a little extra strength. There's also a few changes in the tail section. You'll need to install these new gussets on either side of the first frame, which meet up with the new luggage floor channel. And these gussets are a little bit of a pain to install because they, uh, these rivets are inside of this gusset channel, and there's really no way to access those rivets without bending back this gusset a little. So the tip here, I recommend you drill out these four rivets um, which hold this gusset in place, and that way you can bend it back a little bit to give you access to these holes, because uh, you'll need to drill out the existing rivets and then drill some new holes into the frame here to hold this bracket in place. There's another part, this luggage floor reinforcement channel that will attach to the center fuselage uprights, but I'm gonna leave that off for now, because I think you don't need to do this until the uh, center and rear fuselages are joined and you're ready to install the luggage floor. As you can see, I just click on it in for now so you can see what this looks like. And this will meet up with these gussets on the tail section. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this modification, and I'll do my best to try to answer them for you. Otherwise, that's the end of this video. I'm going to get back to work. Good luck on your kit, and thanks for watching.